Welcome back to another showing off of a Muse machine. I'm Bob Marshall of Top Rider Muse. This is another rare and very select Muse machine we are putting up for sale. This thing is really cool. It's got soft case, zipper works, got a little itty bitty tear right there, but yeah, zip, zip, zip. This thing is awesome. And then out comes this avocado green. This thing is cool. Remington 1040. Certainly one of my favorite models. I've gotten on a few of these. One of them I gave to my secretary. The other one I sold to a traveling writer who travels all over the U.S. via motorcycle. And he's taken his all over the place a few times. I knew it would put up with the punishment he put it through. That's why I sold it to him. Anyways, let's check this thing out. 1969 Remington 1040. We'll get the case out of the way here. Get this bad boy back up. Uh, this thing was pretty rocking when we got it. It uh, had a few broken things. was missing a few springs, but it's never been dropped. It just needed some lube, some ribbon, a crap load of cleaning. Just a crap load of cleaning. The case had kind of fallen apart and eaten it up. But needless to say, this seems pretty awesome. You all want to see a tap? I know I want to see a tap. 1969. And we put a man on the moon that year. That would have been... And here they were selling avocado avocado green machines i always like to test with these super big pieces of paper the legal size that way i can make sure the rollers are doing what they're supposed to do i'm not doing i'm not doing a good job on any of that but you can see it stays stays lined up just fine and uh everything works buttons are pretty much all the same Backspace is good. Uh, shift is good. The tab actually works, which is usually the first thing that goes wrong, but this tab is just fine. I'm sure I have one set there. Let's set another one. You set the tab here. Set. We'll pull it over. One tab, two tab, no more tabs. Anywho, yeah, the tab's usually the thing that goes wrong on these machines. No one. 1969. Remington 1040. Let's see what we got. Anybody want to see the alphabet? Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's do a nice shift lock. Looking pretty good. Make sure the alignment's good, which it is. And then uh, just for the fun of it, we'll kill everything else. Yeah, now this thing's pretty good. Feet's good. All the internals are good. Again, it was it was just really dirty and gummed up. Needed a good cleaning. I did not put this one in the bathtub or kitchen sink like I have with some in the past. Just a few hundred Q-tips. This thing's all good to go. Yep. So, this one's going up for sale. We're going to uh, 1969 Remington 1040 avocado green again it ain't perfect it's got a few little blemishes but certainly nothing that stops the operation honestly i could probably scrub this all and clean it all more platin's good rollers are good i suspect somebody used this thing and loved it and did their very best the case just the case disintegrated in it so 
platen's got those worn marks on it it gets from the feed rollers but it's still quite supple it's got good drometer so i'll be leaving it yep probably find this on ebay soon enough going to put it up on instagram in the meantime 1969 remington 1040 avocado gosh i love these machines yeah again i've, I've had a few of these Bob Marshall here, Typewriter Muse, typewritermuse.com. We'll, uh, we'll be shipping this as needed. Get it out to you. Find it on the Instagram. Find it on the Facebook. Yeah, this thing's going to really write well for somebody, some fellow author, fellow writer. Typewritermuse.com.